Now the time to practice journal. So in this module we will learn how to maintain a journal or how to write journal entry in a general journal. It's a practice in which we will see there are three transactions. On 2nd January, goods are bought for cash, rupees 20,000. And you can see that we are buying goods against cash. And then goods sold for cash, 35,000. For cash, we are putting currency sign and we are selling goods. And then loan taken from friend, 50,000. Let's see. In the first transaction, where we bought goods for 20,000, debit is given to purchases account and credit is given to the cash account. Post reference, we did not put. Why? Because we do not know what is the post reference or the page number of ledger. So just put question mark over there. Debit amount is here and credit amount is here. And don't forget to put its date and narration. So these are the six parts of journal entry that we have recorded in it. In next transaction, we sold goods for cash. When we have sold goods for cash, it means cash, which is an asset, belonging to debit group has increased therefore we have to debit so cash asset debit with its amount in the debit column and since we have sold goods sales is the accounting hat which belongs to income credit group and we are having increase in this so it is credit with this amount and this is its narration sold goods for cash simple that what we have done is to be narrated after this debit and credit analysis well then in the third transaction which happened on 7th of January we see that we have received cash as loan from friend so here there are two accounting heads one is cash which belong to asset main head, which is debit nature. And since we are receiving cash, our assets are increasing. And when a debit nature increases, we have to debit. And loan is a subhead of liability, which belongs to credit group. And our liability is increasing because of this transaction. So when liability is increasing, being credit nature, it would be credited. Always remember that for each transaction, there will be one debit and one credit. One debit, the other credit. One debit, the other credit. You cannot see both are debit or you cannot see both are credit. So the important tip to remember in this module is that debit account comes first and its amount is written in the left column. I just want you to see this once again that debit, the accounting head that we are recognizing as debit is coming first and its amount since these are the two columns for amounts and its amount is being written in the left column and the the credit accounting head would always be written under the debit accounting head with some space to be indented and its amount would be written in the right hand side. So debit amount is written in the left side 
and credit amount is written in the right hand side. Just see, debit account comes first and its amount is written in the left column, whereas credit account is written under the debit account by indenting few spaces and its amount is written in the right column. One very important tip to remember, please. It is old story or old fashion that people used to write to along with the credit account. Let me demonstrate it here. Mostly what happened that people used to write to said cash account to sales account or cash account to loan account, purchases account to cash account. This is wrong practice. Don't follow this practice, please. Important tip to remember that we do not put to as a prefix of the credit account. Thank you.